What's up guys, Dan from Forward Progress Madden, back with part three of the Gun Type Flex mini scheme out of the Tennessee Titans playbook. If you missed the first two videos, check the description below and you'll be able to watch those two videos and see how these three plays work together. Inside high low is going to be the last breakdown in this, this scheme and you're going to see that it's a uh, pretty good defense that's going to allow us to, or offense that's going to allow us to roll out, stay in the pocket, beat cover three, and also be able to beat cover two for one play touchdown. So the setup is to streak the tight end. Again, the running back is to the short boundary. And depending on what you see from the pass rush, you can either stay in the pocket or you can roll out. If you decide to roll out, you're going to be able to notice that, again, the tight end on the streak and the B receiver are going to confuse your coverage. For some reason, cover three is just broken against compression sets this year, and your opponent is going to have a hard time defending these schemes from a cover three look. Here we made a poor throw with Marcus Mariota. The throw, if you're going to throw to B when he's wide open, is up in the left bumper. So you'll notice right here, We'll be able to throw up in the left bumper. It's going to direct us downfield for a touchdown. So essentially what this does is it isolates the free safety in the middle of the field and is going to make it very, very tough on him. And until there is a patch that is done, cover three is not going to be able to stop this play. But what really, really sets this play apart from the other two plays in this formation that we broke down is that this can also be a cover two shell. So let's go ahead and show you cover two. And... Again, same, same setup, and you're just going to use this rollout to pull the zones. And you can see right there that B was wide B was wide open as it was uh, crossing the field. And then you also pull down the zones, and you have the two layers of crossing patterns going from left to right. So, again, if the, the nose tackle keeps beating us and causing us to have to rush our throws, but you're going to be able to, against cover two, pull down the zones with your quarterback and really, really stress the defense to the boundary but if you can buy the time you're going to see here that again you're able to throw this ball to the backside post and uh, you are going to notice that more often than not both safeties are going to typically follow the streak so again watch right here both safeties follow the streak and B gets wide open again you have to use your judgment on this play to know when you're going to want to throw the B route versus you know you're, when you're going to want to uh, throw one of the crossing patterns. Here you notice that we're able to get the throw off. You're going to want to use a possession catch along the sideline. You're going to want to throw this ball more often than not when you get the time to set your feet and make the throw. If you're being hurried by a linebacker or there's a, a defensive lineman who gets in your area, you're going to just need to take your loss and hit one of the crossing patterns. So this play is going to mesh in real well with the other two plays that we broke down because it can absolutely kill a defense from a zone standpoint. Not a single defense in the game is going to be able to stop, a zone defense in the uh, game is going to be able to stop this flooding concept that we're using. Um, and last but not least, of course, you have the check down route to the running back. Against man coverage, we'll go ahead and break down one breakdown against man coverage here. Again, this is going to be a, a, an offensive play that is going to be capable of beating man coverage as well. So we'll go ahead and show you two man under, which sticks to players like Lou this year. Um, again, you're just going to see X beats his man wide open. I mean, terribly wide open against two man under. And then you also have the ability to throw the delay route to the running back. As you notice right here, the running back is a, is a great check down against some zones. Depending on what type of man coverage you're running, if you get an outside linebacker in, in a man assignment on the on the uh, the running back, you're going to see that um, they're going to blitz. If it's a middle linebacker, you see here, you're not going to want to really throw the ball to the running back because he is going to, more often than not, um, be covered. There are times, as you saw right there, that a middle linebacker will blitz. And if that's the case, he's left wide open for a touchdown. So I hope that these three videos really helped you guys understand what I'm attempting to do from this Tennessee gun tight formation. Um, it's a very, very good passing formation. The halfback draw is enough to keep your opponent honest on short down and distances. But this is really going to be an all-out air raid style formation for you. Um, and if you can use these three plays and really work them 
against most coverages and get them down, then you're going to be better off um, being confident in your reads. You only have three plays. You've run them ad nauseum, and you're you're going to have all those reps in and be able to beat any of the coverages that you can see coming your way. So that's what, really what I was trying to accomplish with this series was to keep it short and simple. Basically use the KISS method, keep it simple, stupid, and uh, help you guys out with uh, a mini, mini scheme that you're going to be able to attack every single coverage in the game with. Um, it basically comes down to getting in the lab and getting comfortable with your read. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and we will start with a new scheme next week, but we'll keep posting videos every day here on Forward Progress Madden. So until tomorrow, this is Zan signing out. Get in the lab, and good luck.